May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? This is a board of announcement for the 1115 departure. All drivers, men, and passengers, please return to your vehicles at the time and have your tickets ready for scanning. that was basically a cemetery located over in the visitor's parking lot. This visitor, this cemetery, uh, picked up all the bodies of all the sailors who washed ashore on Lewis Beach, which was right behind us at the time. Uh, these bodies were, were dragged over into the sand dunes and buried in the sand. Oh, man. Unfortunately, when the wind blew, the sand dunes also yes. blew, and consequently you would have bones sticking out. No, wind, maybe. <laughs> um, the uh, when the ferry came, they covered up the they covered up the uh, cemetery, which is probably a good thing. Right. Okay? Right. Um, but uh, so that's a big thing. Yeah. Now I heard there was a a, gra a graveyard here, a, a town's yard, where they had a white picket fence right, around it right. and it sat right in the middle of all these sand and sand dunes, mm -hmm. and they kind of like planted. People I think it's one of the same. In the sand all over the place there. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, there was a town cemetery. So you see, with this with this place here, the the back of here is the bay. All the bay people that died on the bay washed up here on the shore. All the people that died in the river down here washed here on the shore, and all the people that died in the ocean <laughs> here on the shore. So they got all these dead people and yeah. didn't know what to do with them, so they buried them in, in the sand because they did not know them. They right. tried to identify them, but if they couldn't, they ended up here. If they did identify them. If they did. If they did identify them, then the name, the identification was provided to the local churches. And the churches rotated right. responsibility of identify or to notifying the next of kin of these soldiers or these sailors. That right. Are and there's between 400 and 800 here. What you're saying here, there's probably about 800 people buried underneath the tarmac here. Right. Right. Right, okay. over, right over on the all right. park. And I know that I understand they found bones all the way up to 1935 uh, before they they covered this yeah. place up. During the Victorian age, you see, um, the, the townspeople stayed away from here because, you know, um, you, they, they didn't send their kids to play here. You know, it, it's known to be a graveyard and things wash up. So, you know, they tended to stay away from this. this was kind of out, out of bounds thing. And I know, not historically correct, but I figure there's probably some more people that are dead here from the town that they didn't know what to do with. And they said, why don't we bury them in the sand with the, re with the rest of them? This is a dumb question. Did they take the time to give everybody like their own space and do a service or anything? I or think it was basically drag on trench. the shore and dump them okay. into a hole. Just a trench thing. So okay. it was if all they, unmarked. A lot of them were unmarked. Wow. If they had a storm or something, they would wash up. Right. Especially. They would and there's also historically uh, correct information during the storm of 1888, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, about a hundred bodies washed up here once. Yeah. Also, pe people froze on the boats. I know it's hard for you to believe, but they froze on the boats during the dead of winter, and they actually were ghost ships. This was a blizzard of 1888. And they actually floated in in here all fro frozen up. Yeah. So it was a really bad scene here with people being washed washed up, and so they had to bury them fast. Now, right after right after this this terminal was constructed, 
they started experiencing all sorts of paranormal activity. And you have how many cars going across this year? Well, it's about 800,000. 800,000 cars? 800,000 passengers and about 300,000 cars. Okay, go go across here each year. This is an awesome place to go. It's an awesome place just to see. The boat ride is cool, so I suggest you ever have time to come out here and take a boat ride. They actually have a boat ride that you can get on and not have to drive your car. Go on and go and go across. If you're local around here, it's a rainy day at the beach, this is the place to go. Rick, interesting enough, it's been 50 years now. 50, this, 50 this, years. This 2014 will be 50 years since this was constructed. So. Very cool, very cool. So we're going to be walk, walking around this place. We're going to go all, all over all the paranormal stories that have happened here. We're going to be here all night. We're going to have our, D, our, D, our DVR out, out here. We're going to place our cameras, and we're going to do all that. But right now, we're going to take a tour of the Cape May Lewis Ferry Terminal. Thank you. Heath, I'm sorry. You should say your name and what your title is here. No problem. I'm, I'm Heath Kirkie. I'm the director of operations here at the ferry, and uh, I've been here only for about seven years. But the employees that have been here for 20 or even more years have had a lot of stories about ghost sightings here. Yes. And even some relatively recently. Yes. So I'd be happy to tell you. One of the stories is that this ramp out of back here that the, they see people disembark and bark. Embarking, yes. and they're not supposed to be past a certain point there without without a boat or well, with, with, with a boat with the and generally cars. that's for vehicles. So typically we don't have people walking up or down that ramp, but they okay. have seen some ghostly right. figures. Right. So so I mean, and, and they were like cloaked, like they were like had period stuff on. So that's one one of the stories. So we're going to try to put a, cam a camera on that ramp tonight as close as, close as, close as we, can get, we can get to that ramp, okay? Excellent. Okay, one of the stories is that uh, people see people, uh, hear people walking down the stairs. And they look up and no, no, no one's here. Uh, I mean, they're trying to disembark the ramp and they start to walk, to walk down the stairs. But apparently if you walk on this, you can hear underneath people have been cleaning and they come around the, stair the stairwell here and there's noises of somebody walking up here. So we're definitely going to put a stationary recorder on, on these steps all night long. All kinds of stories have been out, out of this, this place. Uh, apparently, the graveyard's only uh, underneath here and about 50 feet beyond that, that door there. So uh, people have seen Dark shadows coming out of the floor, walking, floating down the hall, the hallway, in yeah. period dress. <laughs> and a lot of times, people say this is a port portal. Sometimes in built buildings where they have high things like like this, it, it causes that to, to, to happen. So uh, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But that's the stories out that we heard. So we're going to put a stationary camera here, and one from upstairs looking down. Um, there's a handprint that's right on this door here, and um, it won't go won't go away. Uh, also, it's the inter interesting part about this is that uh, law enforcement has been out here and seen this door open and close. Also, work workers have heard the rattling noise of the door of somebody trying to get in here. But the door didn't open because because it was locked. So oh. that's another story that they had. I bet you didn't know that one. Didn't you? There you go. <laughs> so people have heard and seen the refrigerators open and close. She described this officer as being short and stout, and he had dark hair with a shock of white, and he had his tie clipped onto his lapel. Okay. And he said, "Well, that sounds like Sonny." And she said, yeah, that's Sonny. And he said, well, Sonny doesn't work here. Sonny passed away. <laughs> so maybe Sonny's still on patrol, Yeah, is what you're trying exactly. to say. And Sonny's picture is right there. Wow. You want to zoom in on that? You can do it. So keep an eye out for that guy. Still on post, still patrol, patrolling trying to keep the peace.